Hey, it's Chilling Mia. We're out in the garden today. It's uh, March the 3rd, 4th. Something like that. Whatever, fourth, some early fourth, March. Fourth. It's March is happening. Um, kind of share what we're doing. Uh, if anybody really wants to get started early, we're in zone 6. Which means it still, we could get snow, we could get freezing weather, we could get all that crap. We're not thinking about it, but we know it could happen. But... I had the idea, I had an old chicken run. Basically, it was a tunnel that we could transfer chicken from one part to the other. We weren't using it anymore. So I started with it. Uh, I had put plastic on the sides, and I put a piece of the PVC roofing on it, which is about $22, $23 a, a sheet. It's two foot by two inches wide, eight foot long. And I basically covered, uh, made a box out of it, like a cold, cold uh, frame box. And there's what we've got. Uh, we've got radishes in there that we started uh, inside in early February. And the temperature of the soil we're out here is about 48 degrees. And in there it's about... 60, 65, which is great for cool weather, cool weather crops like radishes, cabbage, uh, onions, uh, you know. Any of your cool crops, your, cold your brassica crop. crop. crops. Now, what we do is, we found this works real well. Uh, we've got these frost covers, and if it's going to get down below, say, 28 at night, we'll cover them in here. And then we got to get them off fairly early in the morning because if not, you'll cook your cabbage before it's ready. They get very warm. Uh, I mean, I've got a brick here and just let, let the excess hot air out. And it does real well. Um, this box, that's where I got the idea, was this big box. But then I got the idea to build these smaller boxes. Um, and they work very well. They're, I think I got less than 65 bucks in them. Uh, I did use just regular pine boards, and I plan on painting these with kills or something to kind of help preserve them. But we've got, um, like in this one, we've got cabbage. Uh, and you can, boy, you can feel the heat when you raise the lid. But there's a little cabbage in there. I plant them deep. Because they will grow, but I plant them deep to kind of help protect them from the cold if it freezes, which are pretty well frost resistant. And then um, we got another one over here where we've got more cabbage in. And then this bigger box, which is a four by eight, which really don't have to have them that big. If, if you need to, you can make them two by eight, and then as things grow, move them over. If you want to start like later on, but like this, this box here is completely it's all onions. That side hasn't been planted yet, but we got some walla wallas and some red bur red bourbons and burgundies and yellow onions. And as you can see, the the walla wallas are taken off. We just can't let them. They can take cold better than heat, and that's why we got to keep it vented open. So. Just a quick deal, if you want to start a few plants just now, so you'll be ready to eat, then you can just keep using it. You've got two handles on both ends, a handle on that end, a handle on the other end. You can pick them up with one hand and move them, but you do got to keep a brick on them. Uh, I didn't put anything on the lids to lock them down, so I lay the bricks that are giving them vintage on the top of them at night, so if a storm would come up, they won't. And also, I didn't, they make a, a foam filler that goes in here, but I did not put them in because I want to let the heat out. I don't want them to get too hot. So anyway, that's what we're doing. We're planning to have fresh radishes here in about three weeks and some onions, green onions in about three weeks. And we'll just keep planting right behind them. So until it gets too hot and then we'll quit and start with our cucumbers and tomatoes but that's what we're doing and uh so far 
knock on wood. Hey. Uh, <laughs> it's working great. Hey, it's Chill Miss, and you have a great day, folks.